So today is Good Friday, and what I want to do is just take a few minutes and, and read the crucifixion story of Jesus. And this is found in Matthew, I'm going to start in verse uh, 33 of chapter 27. So Matthew 27, verse 33, it says this, They came to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull. There they offered Jesus wine to drink mixed with gall, but after tasting it, he refused to drink it. When they had crucified him, they divided up his clothes by casting lots. And sitting down, they kept watch over him there. Above his head, they placed the written charge against him. This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Two rebels were crucified with him, one on his right and one on his left. And those who passed by hurled insults at him, shaking their heads and saying, you who are going to destroy the temple and build it in three days, save yourself. Come down from the cross if you are the Son of God. In the same way, the chief priests, the teachers of the law, and the elders mocked him. He saved others, they said, but he can't save himself. He's the king of Israel. Let him come down now from the cross, and we will believe in him. He trusts in God. Let God rescue him now if he wants him. For he said, I am the son of God. In the same way, the rebels who were crucified with him also heaped insults on him. On Thursday night in Gethsemane, Jesus was arrested and he was betrayed by one of his disciples and abandoned by all the others. And the chief priest and the Sanhedrin called for secret trials in the middle of the night so that they could pass down this judgment, this verdict, which was death on a cross. And this is something that the Roman governor Pontius Pilate had to execute and reluctantly he did that. After severe beating, Jesus is nailed to a cross where he remains for six hours until he dies. Never before or since has more been lost and gained at the same time. The gain, the world, you and I, we, we gain the atoning sacrifice of Christ. But for those that were there, that were present, either the significance of the moment is lost on them or their hearts break as the one they thought to be their savior of the world dies right at the hands of Rome. They can't stop it, but they don't realize that it's for them. They hoped in him, and though he told them he would suffer many things and rise three days later, how in the world could he have possibly meant this is what he was gonna go through? See, Jesus is on the cross. He's been beaten. He is fulfilling what he came to do to die for you and me. And so I want you to remember that today on this Good Friday. Remember that he has done for us what we could never do for ourselves.